Hello, Scorpio. Welcome to your um, reading for Incoming Love, um, July 2019. This is my new series. Um, this um, reading, we will be talking about new potential um, incoming love for you. It could very well be a new person that you'll be meeting with, or it could also be a person from the past um, and then now coming into your life as a new opportunity for the coming month, all right? Um, I'm going to be drawing cards for the um, first spread and then going into um, details and pulling in clarifiers for the cards. I will be extending this um, video. Um, and um, I'll be posting the extended version in the um, description box below. If you're interested and if you're inclined to watch further, um, just click on the link, all right? To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. All right, what do we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Incoming love for July 2019. Obviously, it could pan out until the following month, all right? Wow, you have the Knight of Cups, you have the World, you have the Two of Cups, the Eight of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the Seven of Swords, mm -hmm. the Empress, and the Six of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Ten of Wands. So someone may either be in a difficult situation right now in their life, feeling burdened, or currently in the verge of finishing off a previous relationship that has burdened them. Okay? That's what I'm getting. Um, Scorpio, this person uh, is uh, it's your Prince Charming first time you meet this person they would give you that aura of a prince charming There's, they will be a charmer basically they love to um, show romantic gestures and they would um, this person I'm getting is that um, they would be very observant of you when you first meet them and they would try to assess what do you they would w try to assess what Scorpio is thinking and what would you probably want and then they would try to do it for you it's like they are in that mode of in a hunting mode and at the same time once they find that target they would scan you analyze you and then try to make gestures in their perception of what you want I hope that makes sense but yeah I feel that this person is gonna be very observant and yeah, a charmer too. You could probably meet this person in the beach or in some festival. Or it could be in the museum too, like the um, archaeological museum or something. Yeah. Uh, And I do feel that this person is, um, the moment you meet this person, you would have the feeling that this person wants to have a new start with you, fast. It's like a very um, abrupt or, you know, when you meet, it's like, it's, it's very fast. They want um, fast progress in meeting up. But definitely so, it's either you or, but I'm feeling it's this person. This person has just completed a cycle, meaning has just um, finished off a uh, relationship. Yeah, Someone that um, they really loved in the past. Someone that they really had that um, strong bond of partnership in the past. Okay. You know, this could very well be you. Um, this person, I mean, this could very well be somebody in the past coming back to you and um, offering um, apology because they still value your uh, 
connection in the past, yeah, and that they are wanting to have that new beginning right away. So I'm pretty much getting two scenarios here, okay. And um, while you go through in this um, connection, while you start to get to know each other, while you start to spend time with each other, there will be communications that you will be communicating. There will be a lot of activities um, happening. You might even be traveling. You might even be um, spending time, more time, vacationing. And if this is someone from the past, you would also be talking about those outstand long-standing issues that you have and bringing some closures to it or some resolutions to those, okay? By means of communicating and, um, you know, how you can both compromise and things like that, okay? And, uh, all right. If this is a new person, I'm feeling that there is a challenge here as the Queen of Pentacles. It's either um, they, their ex or somebody in their past, um, an earth sign, is still um, pretty much tied to them. I mean, the, it could either be spiritual connection or it could also be that um, they're still trying to close um, whatever remnants of their past together. Yeah, it could also be that um, the challenging here is that you know if you have different cultures, uh, the mother, the mother of this person, be, could pose a, a problem in this connection. Perhaps you know in some cultures they have some preference and things like that, or this person very well respects their mother so whatever their mother say they would likely follow it and for this connection it's it's probably that there is something about this connection that um, the mother wouldn't really approve in the long run okay and that poses a challenge and for both of you to be thinking about this in the long term currently you wouldn't have that um even bird's eye view of it because you'll be stuck. You wouldn't know really what to do. Um, yeah, you wouldn't really what to. You wouldn't really know what to do about this to proceed long term for now. And the outcome here is that somebody will try to do things on their own, try to find ways to get around things because there could be some challenges, there could be some issues arising that needs to be resolved either by um, both of you or it could be that this person would try to find ways and means to resolve the issues or the challenges that um, they're encountering in order to be with you, okay? But I would like to delve deeper into these cards in the extended version to see what really is the main cause of um, these challenges right here and why is it that um, you both would be having some difficulty deciding things for the long term. But for you, Scorpio, you're being advised here to acknowledge your worth, to know your worth and stand by, by it. You know, Don't compromise yourself no matter how in love you are with this person try to be who you are, somebody who, because this person sees you as an empress, and you very well deserve it, you're pretty, you are alluring, you are stable, or probably working towards your stability, but know that you have that worth, and um, yeah, don't compromise, um, how do you say, it? don't settle for anything less, basically. Okay, and um, also, if this person, um, try to get to know this person as well, because I feel that if this is a new person, not the returning person, if this is a new person, it's likely that they are already in a partnership, either in a marriage or committed partnership, and you don't want to be third party for this. 
empress could also be um, representative of um, a mistress so you would you don't want to be that too or uh, it, it depends um, you decide but yeah just be mindful of that all right and the overall overall outcome here is that um, the overall outcome is that there's going to be uh, in simple terms it's some um, equal give and take and stability but definitely what I'm getting is that in the long term if um, all right this is the outcome this is the advice right so the advice here is more like making sure that things are balanced in this connection okay so the same thing don't compromise yourself and um, you know if you don't want to be the third party so try to make sure that um, this relationship would go forward where you both are going to be in a in a relationship with equal give and take all right Scorpio um, I'm gonna delve deeper into each of these cards and um, I'll be talking about that two scenarios as I go whether this person is a new person that you'll be meeting and if it resonates with you that this is a returning person I would also be um, returning person from the past I would also be um, getting more insights with regards to it all right um, if you won't be um, going to the extended version, that's all right. I um, hope this uh, reading resonates with you. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit like and subscribe if you need private readings. My information is also down below and um, email me as well. I also have my website. Check it out. And then if this is where we part ways, thank you for stopping by.